I got out early today and did some uh, little household chores and holy cow, I am huffing and puffing and sweating. See that little feeder on that tree? I filled that up today, which means I gotta crawl up on a little ladder. There are other feeders. There are ducks coming to eat the food off the bank because I spill a lot. I think that's a house finch on there. Um, I laugh, the older I got, um, when you can probably see my bank, I planted those flowers. It's and I have a bank on the other side. My wife planted those plants, but there's, uh, we put some, um, I always call them cone heads, but they're cone, cone flowers because they attract butterflies and then black eyed Susans. And then we have sedum to cover our bank and so the runoff when the rains come here in Tennessee, we can get a lot of rain. I, I think the second year we were out here we had uh, it rained for like five days and this is full pool if you can see it see our my railings in the water that's full pool it's 1020.5 it, full pool is 1020 uh, it got to 1030 and we all had to move our campers because the water was up above the railings and they had to shut off all the electricity and we got some rain if you don't know about the Norris Dam, it's really pretty amazing. It was built in the 30s, I think 1936, I think, but it's just unbelievable what it does. And it controls the flooding down south. So when we get a lot of rain, they control the flooding down Chattanooga and a little further. And um, so they just let it sit and we had to absorb all that water. But anyway, you know, I, I'm out here and I'm doing these chores and I laugh because, you know, I'm 70, which is young. I'm in pretty decent shape. I went for a three mile hike and came back sweaty and thought, well, I'm gonna do this work before it gets too hot because it's supposed to be 93 today in full sun. And um, so I came out here and did the work, but you know, when I was a youngster, I, I laughed because you, holy cow, you remember when you're young, you can work forever, but you still couldn't work in heat, which is, uh, heat's pretty amazing. I just saw a squirrel leave. He wanted to get on my feeders. <laughs> kind of like uh, scammers trying to scam your business. <laughs> hey, I'm just talking today. It, it's, uh, you know, I talk about it a lot and, and I really do. I have, I have such a booming business right now and it's booming for a reason. It, it's the network marketing or, and they call it MLM, but network marketing is just an amazing business. You just network with people. See, all I do is share a link. Now it's livegoodtour.com forward slash Mark Nelson. Now my wife has a business of her own, so she's forward slash Nancy Nelson. But I have a, a domain that's joinmark.biz and then I have Mark's free tour, which doesn't mean anything, but it's all I do is share it. Some people look at it, some won't. Some look at it later. Um, it, it doesn't matter, but here was the key. Uh, when I started in business, and I think I, I, I'd never get the year right because it was a while ago, but I believe it was uh, 1999 uh, or maybe the year 2000, I started in a financial business, a side hustle. Um, I had a uh, service master at the time, a cleaning franchise, and uh, we thought, oh, my feeder just fell off. What a bummer. <laughs> that ducks are gonna have a lot of food. Oh shoot, I'll have to get that in a little bit, but that was a big splash. You can see it. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Uh, put too much stuff in it somehow. Came off the hook. What a bummer. Anyway, get back to what I was talking about. Um, but that, it was a great business. I loved it, but I was always gone. And that was, we'd go meet people I was in a small town, so we moved towards Minneapolis, St. Paul, and I'd have to go to malls and try to talk to people, and I hated that. That was not me. Um, and then I got started in another one, probably 2003, and that one really did well. Ah, oh, was it 2003? No, it was probably that was probably 2008, because I took a break, and I did well with that. And, and then I got cancer, and uh, just it, it took the momentum away from my team, and you know, teams which is kind of funny, but teams follow their leaders and I was the leader. So when I came back, I stopped that. And then because of cancer, I started looking at health and wellness businesses. And um, I tried a couple, very disappointed in them. And, and they're both old time, big businesses. That, but you know, it came to where, the, holy, I had to buy a lot of product just to stay active. 
And then I had to try to build a business, but I had to buy so much product, it was just wiped me out. So in both of them, I was done in like two months, two and a half months, and I was never gonna do another one. And then Live Good came along. Um, watched the video. I, I think if you heard this story, I was on vacation. So I hesitated, that's cost me some money. Um, but I, I wasn't looking for what, what we call a spillover. I wasn't looking for my sponsor to build my uh, business. I was gonna build the business and I went to work. Fast and furious to start, then it became summer and very typical in summer, I slow down. I'm not going to this summer because I am so close to busting this wide open, I'm going for it. Uh, so anyway, it, it was the best business I've ever done. I don't have to buy anything. I, I just put an order in for 150 bucks. Uh, saved me a hundred dollars. Products I was using before. Cost me $10 a month to be have a business. I. It's paid for all the time because I make money every month. My wife has a business that costs her $10. She makes that same amount of money, not the same amount of money I do. My business is a little bigger, but hers is growing because people like to look at my wife way better than me. <laughs> anyway, hey, there's a link down below. I think it's Mark's Free Tour. Go look my video. Go watch the video. Um, see what you think. Reserve a spot and kind of see what Live Good does. Hey, y'all take care. Bye.